Today's Tips to Jura mailbag question comes to us from Italy. Robert, there seems to be a lot of interest in torrified wood. What exactly is it? Francisco in Italy. Francisco in Italy, that is a very good question. Basically, it's wood that's been cooked. It's been put through a thermal process and moisture has been removed. It changes the cellular structure. The end result is it's very light and very stable. Now, is that advantageous for building instruments? It can be. It could be one of those small things that gets you over the hump and makes you a great guitar instead of a good guitar. However, I've heard a few bad sounding guitars made with torrified lumber. I've also heard some very good guitars made with lumber that wasn't torrified. So it's not the only thing, but it could be one of those things that when all the stars align, one of those small things that makes you have a great guitar. Now back to your question on what exactly is this wood. Now recently I visited a company in Canada called Thermal Wood, and they do this torrification process among other things at their plant. It was a very interesting visit I had, and I had my camera rolling. So let's go talk to the people there at Thermal Wood and see how this process is done. Okay, here we go. Robert O'Brien again. I'm here at uh, Thermal Wood Canada. I'm here with Bob Lennon. Bob, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. And this is the oven here behind us. Uh, this is where the wood goes in and gets cooked. And Bob's going to walk us through the process. Well, the process is basically is that our oven takes 14,000 board feet in one shot. Uh, through the process. Mm -hmm. What we do is we prepare it, as you see the wood behind us here. Yes. It's prepared at uh, two inches thick, so we take two four-quarter boards, slap them on top of each other, mm -hmm. and then we stick her in at every 12 inches in between. Right. The reason why we do that is that the process works basically is that our heat source comes from propane. Mm -hmm. We transfer the, uh, the, uh, the propane heat uh, from, uh, from the flame through a, uh, um, a thermal oil okay. that we pump into a radiator in the back of the oven. Right. There's a large fan there that basically flows it through horizontally in a clockwise fashion. Okay. So if you see here, the door, there's a, a right. section over on the side, but we got right. the se same section there. Right. The wood fits in directly into the uh, oven of that size. Mm -hmm. And then in the back end, the fan blows the air through the, uh, uh, the radiator. Right. It comes up this size, and then it flows through the wood like a filter. Right. And then it just keeps on going around. Right. The only thing that we use inside the oven for the process mm -hmm. is heat and steam. Okay. The reason why the steam is there... No is vacuum, no pressure? There's no vacuum, no of pressure. That. No. We use the steam to basically remove the oxygen in the right. oven. Okay. Because we go to temperatures of uh, 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400, almost okay. 500 degrees right. uh, Fahrenheit. That warm. Very, very close to yes. sparking. So if you had any oxygen whatsoever in the air, mm -hmm. you'd... Uh, you so the steam removes the oxygen from the, the air? The steam removes the oxygen from the air. Okay. Uh, this wood that's in here mm -hmm. is going in for the music grade, as I mentioned right. a while ago. Yep. It'll go in... Back, sides, necks. Back, sides, necks all the way through. It's bird's eye maple, curly maple that's, uh, right. that's in there. Mm -hmm. uh, the process can do any species of wood. Mm -hmm. The difference is, is that uh, the amount of time that it's in the oven will mm -hmm. change. Yeah, and, and uh, Dale showed me a couple pieces of wood there was only a 15 degree difference in temperature. And one was dark chocolate brown oh, and the other one was just a light yeah. brown. So yeah. just a small amount of temperature variation yeah. makes a different color. Absolutely. So the lower the temperature, the lighter the color, the higher you go, the darker the color, just like your toes. The but, it, but, it's not a, but it's not a time thing. You don't leave it in longer to get nope. that? It's nope. just you don't temperature. Leave it. It's just basically temperature. Right. There's three phases in our process. The first phase of the process is the drying phase. Mm -hmm. So what we do is that Dale's wood will come in at anywhere between 8 to 10% moisture. Okay. We'll take it from that number mm -hmm. and we'll bring it to zero. So that's the drying phase. Okay. And the reason, and we probably dry at double the temperature that you would in a conventional kiln. Okay. Then what we do is we bring that moisture content in the wood to zero. Mm -hmm. Once it gets to zero, then we start climbing up to the peak temperatures. Okay. When we get to the peak temperature, we hold it there mm -hmm. for three hours. Mm -hmm. That's the torrification process. Okay. It happens there. But you need to have the wood completely dry and at 0% moisture before you start climbing it up. Okay. Because if you don't, what ends up happening is that if there's still moisture or mm -hmm. any organic property left in the, in the wood, well, this doesn't work like a microwave. Right. It uh, case hardens the outside as right. the temperature starts to rise. Right. And then it entraps any moisture that's on the inside. On the inside, right. And if that happens, when uh, outside and inside temperature uh, equate, right. then, and the moisture can't get out, right. it expands, cracks all the cracks inside the wood. of the wood. Right. Because we've taken wood before and we split it up and we end up with uh, uh, honey coning on the inside and oh, cracks. Interesting, so interesting. you need to make sure it gets to zero. Right. The outside of the board won't give you any information. Mm -hmm. You look at it, it looks the same as it would any right. other time, but it's when you split it up to do it. Okay. Different species of wood have are harder to get the resin pockets out and get that moisture out mm -hmm. and would expand the period of time. Right. 
What about the thickness of wood? If you're putting stuff that's really thin in there, do you leave well, it in longer? Or, or no, than, not than really. That's already thick? Because what we do is we still sticker it up to two inches. Right. Okay. So it's like it's like having so it's the same. same thing. All right. But you're you're right though in a way. If we only had that in as very thin pieces, let's mm -hmm. say you were doing uh, backs on guitars. Right. If you were doing Sitka spruce sure. and just doing the backs mm -hmm. and just doing them like that. You'd have to adjust your timing. Okay. But we're all set up to do it at two inches thick, so all we do is we stack them right. up. The other thing, too, is that if you were stickering at every quarter of an inch, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, you'd be losing a lot of uh, volume inside right, the, right, right. the oven to be able to do it, and you'd have to adjust everything. What about tone? What does it do tonally to the wood? Because we're, we're, we're luthiers, we're building instruments, yep. and a lot of people say, oh, the torification process is better tonally. Do you know anything about that? Can well, you tell us anything about that? There is a study that was done in Germany that basically mm -hmm. says that, uh, uh, without getting into any scientific stuff, because I probably won't remember everything right. that was there, right. but that it replaces about 30 years of natural air drying. Mm -hmm. So the same process that we did if you'd have a guitar that was you right. know, kicking around for the right. last 30 years and everybody rants and raves about the sound of it, mm -hmm. like a Martin guitar or anything right. like that that's been around, that it has a better tone to it. I've been... Uh, uh, you know, selling to various luthiers all through North America. And they come back to me and they, they really tell me that they can pick up their guitars. If there's a right. bunch of guitars playing, they can pick theirs up because the tone and the volume is a lot higher mm -hmm. and the tone's a lot clearer. It doesn't distort up at high uh, right. at uh, high pitches. So if you were to air dry a piece of wood for 30 years and then put it in, the, for lack of a better word, the kiln here for, 30 year, yeah. for, for, for whatever your process yeah. is, uh, structurally, the cellular structure, would it be basically the same? Basically the same. So you're basically yeah. you're speeding up the aging process. Yeah. If you take, um, uh, I don't know if you've been following a lot of the stuff the Martin Guitars are yeah, yeah, doing yeah. with Torification, but they're trying to, they're, uh, they're marketing. Uh, they're pinpointing a year. As they're trying to pinpoint the year depending right. on the color and the right. tonality of the, of, the, of the wood. Right. And so a little bit difficult, but it's it's uh, it's it's true in a way. Okay. But to be able to, to say exactly it's one of those years, well, you'd have to have a couple of guitars and be able to uh, uh, to be able to, to compare them. But right. it does increase the the, uh, the 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 tonality of the wood, and and you know people are talking about it uh, all the time. Like you said. Oh yeah, it's the but big. But I have no experience and no tools to be able to tell you that. Sure. sure. But I'm just taking it from uh, what we're getting from our clients and what they're telling me. We can do any kind of species of wood. Right. So if you wanted to do mahogany or you sure. wanted to do, and again, increase the, the tonality of the right. wood because of that, we could do those species. Right. Because we've done mahoganies, we've done uh, uh, spruce, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Sitka and Engelman spruce. We've done, you know, the maples, the birch, uh, right. uh, tamarack or larch, uh, right. you name it, we've done them all. When it comes out of the, of the oven here, it's, it's, it's colored, it's brown. Brown. How how deep does that go? Is it superficial, or can I sand no, through it? You can or? sand through it. Actually, you can like sand through it. Oh yeah. So you want to no, be careful. No, you oh, you can't me. sand I'm, through. I'm, I'm incorrect on that. Okay. One. You can't sand through. No it. matter where you sand through, you're still going to get the same. Okay. Because so I would worry about wood. blotchiness, depending no, on how you sand. No, no, you won't get any blotchiness. Okay. What you do end up getting though is that when it does come out of the oven, mm -hmm. it looks like crap, because right. all the resins have come to oh, the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And and they crystallize there, so you end up with. You got to get that off. We'll go looking around the shop after see if we can find some. Okay. But you just get this black color on the top. That you need to remove and and to sand off. Once you've gone through that, then you're down to this nice, rich brown color right, that right. you're looking for. And it's very brittle wood, too, afterwards, huh? It's uh, bending-wise and stuff, you lose about 10% of its bending strength. Okay. So if you're trying to form around the side of mm -hmm. an acoustic guitar, right. it gets really, really tricky. Right. But what we've been doing for people is that they've actually sent us their pieces already oh, already, molded. already bent. Yeah. And then what we do is we make a mold to strap it around, sure. and then we put it in put and it bring in. it back out, there you then go. they use it. Right. But to try to bend them That's tough. becomes difficult because we reintroduce back in, in uh, after the three hours are done mm -hmm. of the torification, mm -hmm. we reintroduce four to six percent moisture back into the wood at that right. at that point. Mm -hmm. And when we reintroduce it back in, the temperatures wow. are uh, above 150 degrees Celsius at that point. Okay. After that, Nothing gets back into the wood. Right. We actually have taken in, um, these uh, and did some scientific testing where we put this wood into a, um, a container that was at 65% uh, relative humidity right. for a month. Right. Measured the moisture content at the end of that month. Nothing doesn't take it on. Doesn't take it so on. So it's basically sealed. Basically sealed and very, very stable. Right. So, again, it's another interesting uh, point for uh, uh, the music industry mm -hmm. because if you're very stable, 
and you're tuning up guitars on a regular basis depending on where the moisture or relative right. humidity is right. in the room or outside or whatever. Sure, sure. Stable, wow. right? So you'd have less uh, less issues around the uh, right. tuning or up. How many square feet do you have here? 46,000 46, square feet. 46,000 square feet. All of this is eventually going in the oven. All this stuff goes in the oven. We wow. have what we do is we've got a manufacturing side over sure. in the uh, in the corner, mm -hmm. and at that point, what we end up doing, we've got molding machines there, and we've mm -hmm. got planers, we've got saws, and everything else. Right, right. And what we're ended up doing is basically is uh, uh, doing all our other products. Right. We don't just do uh, music parts. We do decking and siding and, oh, okay. and uh, wall components and panels mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. flooring and a whole bunch right. of other stuff. Very interesting. Yeah. Wow. Impressive, huh? All right, so, so tell us a little bit about the standards you well, were mentioning. Here, you were talking a while ago about color. Yes. Okay, and so uh, at 185 degrees, you'd have a lighter color of, of wood, and this right. was done at 200 degrees because right. we don't go any higher than that on the softwoods. Right. But we do go for softwoods, or for hardwoods, we don't go any higher than 200. Right. For softwoods, we'll go up to 215 degrees. Right. Now, where do we get that from? We just right. didn't pick that out of the air. Sure. There's one governing body in... Uh, in the world, mm -hmm. out of Finland, okay. the Thermalwood Association. Okay. Finland is where this was. This created. is all began in, in Finland. Exactly. Okay. And, and that oven actually was developed by Value Tech in, in Finland. Okay. And what was what's done is that that Thermalwood Association, they have in turn um, gone and certified three companies in Finland mm -hmm. to manufacture ovens that follow the certification. Okay. So they have strict standards to say mm -hmm. for hardwoods, right. if it's an interior application, this is the temperature you go at. Right. And the exterior application, this is the temperature you go at. Okay. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. The other part too that's very important to know is that the quality of the product is really operator dependent. Like okay. you can play around with this. Oh, it's, sure. It's all you can change it. Oh, yeah. You can just go in and everything is computerized. Right. But the recipes, that's where the intellectual okay. property lies. Okay. And so my partner, Pierre, he's the creator of the recipes. Okay. But he still follows those standards about temperatures. Sure. And how long we keep it. Mm -hmm. The rest of it and the duration of the period of time that it's in the oven and how we ramp up the temperatures, mm -hmm. those are the intellectual properties. Okay. And that's something that everybody should ask questions about. There are operators out there that, um, for instance, I, oh, ash, this is maple, mm -hmm. but if I take ash, for instance, which right. is the piece that's behind me here, uh -huh. this one here, which we would use for an outdoor application of siding or decking, right. and this would be a fascia board, mm -hmm. this um, would be in our oven for 80 hours. Wow. Okay? But we do have, there are people out there that, that do the same thing mm -hmm. that will do this in 30 hours. Right. So my analogy is all the time is that you need to ask some questions about torification. Right. It's not just, it's torrified, fine, everybody does the same, not everybody says does the same. Okay. And the difference between 30 hours and, and 80 hours That's is huge. like, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. You uh, you cook once in a while? Sure, sure. So I'm sure you've cooked a roast. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you cook a roast in an hour, yeah. compared to a roast that you cooked in four hours, right. which one would you rather eat? Yeah, the four hour, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> same, same. It's no different when it comes to this. Right. And it's the same thing. So if you're cooking in half of the time, uh -huh. you're going to cause some stresses into the wood that right, you wouldn't right. normally have, or you'll capture some of the moisture inside right. the wood and get all that cracking that we talked about a so while So it's ago. a slow roast. It's a slow roast, and that's <laughs> the key. It's to be able to do it as slow as you can, yeah. follow it underneath specific standards, right. and have it controlled. All our whole oven is all controlled by PLCs. Once we get it going, it's a nonstop process. It right. runs all the way through. And uh, Pierre's hooked up at it at home. He controls it from there. Wow. We control from everywhere. You don't have he, to be here. Don't have to be here when we do it. It could be in Bermuda on the beach, running the oven in Canada. Exactly. Somebody <laughs> just got to load it up and and uh, and empty it. Nice. So gives you an idea. Sure. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. This is very, very interesting. And if you ever want to work with torrified wood, give it a shot, folks, because uh, it's very promising tunneling. So, Francisco in Italy, thank you very much for your question. And remember, like I said, it's not the holy grail of guitar making or instrument making to use torrified wood. However, it could be one of those small things in your bag of tricks that helps you get a great instrument. And happy building. Mm -hmm.